photographed a couple Goodman units. One of them was a Mano, one of them was Goodman, same difference. Checking them out for heat, heat strips, and all that good stuff. I'm heading back across the river here. On old Shaw Highway, heading back to Burgaw. We're going to check out an American Standard split system. Make sure it's squared away for the big snowstorm coming up. Should be good. Stay tuned. Got the old American Standard. Allegiance 13. Age of which is just over 10 years old here now. It's time flies. Seems like I saw this thing the other day and it was only 3 or 4 years old. So we're going to open her up. Get all the gauges and stuff on there. Check out the capacitors because the baby is asleep inside. So I'm going to give him some time to sleep. Then we'll go inside and set up stuff in there. All right, I'm up at the air handler now, as you can see. You can't really hear my actual voice, so I'm going to overdub some stuff. I'm putting my wireless transmitter with the single index psychrometer inside the cabinet of the air handler. It's just going to take a temperature of what the heat pump is putting out before it gets to the heat strips. Because if I add them both together, it'll kind of skew everything out. Now I'm opening up the heater compartment on all the old Train in America st standard air handlers. The heater compartment was right there, and you'll see a contactor in there. And the reason why you see a single pole contactor is because it just had that single run through right there because it's 5kW. I did replace that one, I guess, several years ago because it was chattering so bad. It's been a while. It seems like it's been four or five years. See, we have 22 amps on there. Can't really see it with the light up there, but there's 22 amps because the 5kW is running. I am just checking the amps coming off the capacitor so I can get a capacitance reading while it's running. And there's our meter for the temperature, and I'll be back outside. I have our 69.2 in the unit right now that's going to be our return temperature we're going to see what that jumps up to once the machine runs heat strips are on and running properly from 20.5 a little bit of separation because we have a TXV you'll notice when you have a TXV and it's a hard shut off you'll keep that difference in pressure between the supply or should I say the suction and the liquid line 50 degrees outside, we're running 64 on the suction pressure with 37 degrees saturation. That puts us at about 15 degrees superheat with that 52 degree suction line. And then we have our liquid pressure coming back, it's 237.2 with 113 degrees saturation. We're at 90, so we have about 23 degrees subcooling. Keeping in mind that heat pumps and heating can have an elevated subcooling. Remember, a lot of times the refrigerant needed for both cycles is not quite the same so even if you don't have like a charge compensator or if you do have a charge compensator or some other way to regulate refrigerant from cycle to cycle you still might have a little bit of a different subcooling because it'll it'll vary quite a bit and different machines are matched up with different coils too so that'll vary as well here 107 degrees coming out of the supply we finally broke 100 with a heat pump today we got about 30 degree rise so we're doing good there too pressure's not too high at 240 so she's looking pretty good we're just checking defrost on the machine you can see there's some pins down there let me see if i can zoom in on them see them right there the three pins the one on the left is the force defrost the one on the top is the test common the one on the right is the test so we're going to short in between test common and force defrost. Force and defrost cycle, which is what's going on now, usually happens within about a second or so. Defrost cycle is running, 72 over 185. The pressure is rocketing up there because we have no condenser fan motor. And it should come back on here. There it is. You can see the blade start to turn. Expels all the heat. Pressure starts plummeting back down again. And there's our switch over. Good, everything looks good on this unit.